Hey, welcome back there. We're going to do some more Rate My Bases here. So, we're going to try and attack uh, Lux today. See if she is online or available. Using a modified straight base here, it looks like. Uh, looks like maybe trophy dropping. There's not that many towers there. We're going to take a look at the king real quick. So, we are using King J-Dub. Uh, nothing spectacular. A little bit of fire cauldrons. 402. I'll be discussing that later today, the fire shield resistance in a video. Oops, don't want to go there. Yeah. So, a modified straight base there, tons of barriers. Um, let's see if we have Blade Storm unlocked on this account. I I think we just got it, yeah. Okay, so we just got it. So with just unlocking Bladestorm, we should have a fairly easy job here because the Bladestorm is super effective against barriers and barricades. Uh, and we'll be able to attack multiple barriers and barricades in different situations here. Uh, so like this corner over here, you can attack three uh, barriers and barricades. With one spell. So it shouldn't be too hard, but like I said, it looks like she is trophy dropping uh, somewhat. So probably not a fair, um, you know, estimation of her base. Mortars, a few cannons, some pyromancers, and art blasters. Uh, so it looks like a decent wave setup for this style of base. So it's not going to be that effective because there's not many places for the ranged troops to hide behind. Uh, they can hide behind each of the barriers, uh, but You'll be able to take them down with the blade storm fairly quickly. If we did not have the blade storm, uh, it would be a lot tougher to get through. We should be able to beat this base. Um, we get 12 trophies, which, when anywhere it's around the 10 trophy mark, you probably should be able to beat the base without using scrolls. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a go. We're using firestorm, sword rain, and then the um, sonic blast or blade storm. I should say. Bring in a couple knights here. It appears like the first wave of troops only has um, two little guys in it. So it definitely does look like she is trophy dumping um, because the second wave of troops only had two archers. So this won't really be a fair uh, estimation of you know how good her base is type thing. For a straight base it's okay but you want more um, arrow towers in here so that it can do more damage to the hero so I'm not sure exactly what she's going for in this base she may be just straight, uh, straight going for uh, trophy dropping and trying to get lower Because in a straight base, like I said, you want to have more arrow towers uh, so they can get constant damage on the hero. So that right there really was a NA, not available for attack, and not a base that you know can really rate because it's not really an actual base. This is more of a trophy dropping base. So I'll eventually try back with her and try and attack later. So we're not going to buy the packages, we're not spending any more money, especially on the secondary accounts. Um, so we'll have to go back and try and attack her later again in a different situation. So that's going to do it for her base right there. I uh, really can't rate that because it's not really base, like I said. Uh, if you are trying to get gems, add a lot more arrow towers in there, and that will be able to help you get gems. If you're trying to drop, perfectly fine as is dropping. So. We will go move on to the next base.